In this video, I'll show you how to set up the Zendesk integration, which you can use to hand off your bot's conversations to a live agent. The first thing we'll need to do is install the Zendesk integration. From my bot's dashboard over here, I'll navigate to the Integrations tab. Then, from our hub, I'll be able to find the Zendesk integration. When I click on it, I can choose which bot I'd like to install it to. For this example, I'll install it to Zendesk Test. Once that's finished installing, I can go right back to my bot where I'll be able to configure that integration. Now, we need to collect some information from Zendesk. To get this information, I'll navigate over to the Zendesk Admin Center. On the left-hand menu, under Apps and Integrations, I'll navigate to the Zendesk API. Here, I'll make sure to enable both password and token access, which will allow me to add an API token that we'll need to give to our bot. I'll make sure to name it something descriptive, in this case, bot press test, and I'll copy that API token to my clipboard. Now I'll make sure to save those changes and navigate back over to my bot's dashboard. I'll place the API token that we just copied, as well as a few other pieces of information. The organization subdomain is the URL that you use to access Zendesk. For this example, it's BotPress T for BotPress Test. I'll also make sure to include my email, which is the email that I use to log into Zendesk. In this case, that's just my name at botpress.com. I'll make sure to enable this integration so we can configure it later, and I'll save this configuration so we can access it. Nice. Before our bot can begin a human in the loop or Zendesk session, it's important to collect two pieces of information, our user's name and their email. This allows you to follow up with certain queries if you'd like to later on. To create these variables, we'll use the variables panel on the bottom left corner. I'll create first a variable called user.name. Note here that we're using user variables instead of workflow variables so that we can associate each variable with one user. I'll do the same thing for email now as well. It's important to note here that the Zendesk integration expects these to be lowercase. So when you're creating these variables, they are case sensitive. So do make sure to create them as lowercase. Now let's collect that information. I'll use two raw input cards just for the purposes of this example, and I won't add any preamble. But of course, you can design the conversation in a way that makes sense for your use case. Here, I'll start by saying name, and then I'll ask for their email. I'll also make sure to store these to their respective user variables. So that's user email and username. Done. Now that we've collected that information from the user, we need to configure the HITL agent directly from within the bot. Over here in the agents menu on the left hand side, I'll navigate over to the HITL agent and open up this menu. The first thing I'll do is make sure that it's enabled, and then I'll select an escalation integration. From here, I'm going to choose Zendesk. You can fill out the rest of the information that's here, but we've pre-populated it with some default values, so you can just use this as is. One thing I will fill in here is the intent to cancel HITL. This allows your user to cancel the escalation in case they triggered it by mistake or no longer need support. Here, I'll just use the simple cancel intent, but you can create one as well if you'd prefer something more customized. Once that's set up, we're all done and good to go. Now that we've set up our agent and collected our user's information, let's begin this human in the loop session. From the card tray, I'll navigate over to the agents menu at the very bottom and select a start HITL card. This is what tells our bot to trigger a session in Zendesk. So I'll drag this over to my node and place it here. This is a really simple example, but of course you can design this conversation in a way that makes sense for you. Now that everything's put together, let's test it out and make sure that the latest version of your bot has been published before testing. Over here, I'll say hi to my bot as if I was a user prompting my conversation. Of course, I get asked for my name, which I will put here, and I'll get asked for my email as well. I'm going to type that in also. What's going to happen now is our bot will trigger that start HITL card, which is going to create a ticket for us automatically over in our Zendesk inbox. 
You can see there on the left that my bot says waiting for an agent, but you can customize this menu to say whatever it is that you'd like that fits your use case. Back over here in our Zendesk inbox, I'll just refresh and we'll see a brand new ticket was created automatically via this bot. I also want to show you that the bot automatically sends over a summary and transcript of the conversation so your live agent has context for what's been going on. I'll just send something back here and I'll say hello and send over the message, which we should be able to see appear in the bot's conversation in just a second. We see here a botter's typing and then the hello message is sent. Pretty cool! Happy bot building!